Kugan Cassius Fry from London. We're at BB Kings here in Times Square, New York. With me, I've got Andy Lee, uh, impressive first round demolition job of Daryl Cunningham. A few people I spoke to didn't know a lot about Cunningham, and they said that he was, you know, he, he would come to fight you. So, um, game plan. What was the game plan? Um, I felt very good. You know, I've had a very good training camp and um, shown signs of my old self training with Adam. And, getting my confidence back and I just felt good going in there and I caught him with a good punch I set him up jab to his body and he kept reaching for it with his left trying to pick it and instead of jabbing to his body I turned it into a hook and he caught him peak, caught him on the chin so uh, yeah, it was a nice 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 finish uh, you know I'm not you know I mean just I'm not getting carried away with it I beat him he's been knocked out before it's not a big deal but it's nice nice to get the win and keep on moving you know so the fight the purpose of this fight side was it like a tune up for a uh Another fight well, you might have. You can't beat activity, you know, and the training camp that goes with, with, with a fight. Um, you learn so much, and we've travelled to Denmark and trained over there with some good fighters, so I'm just progressing as a fighter. It's all about that, you know, it's, I'm on a journey, and, and I'm getting philosophical, but I'm on a journey with Adam Boot and, uh, and the whole team, Darren Chan and, and brother Roger and Joey Gamash, and, you know, I'm learning and developing as a fighter, and whatever's next will be next. You're on a journey with Adam Booth, and he's not on that journey. Where know, is he? Yeah. Where well, is he? Unfortunately, uh, as you might have heard now, David Hay got injured. Yeah. So Adam had to stay behind and make sure things were all right and try and salvage the fight. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but he had to remain in England and stay with David, you know. So we, I knew I had done my job. I was well, well drilled in the gym and just came over here and took care of business. So if he was in the corner, it could have, like, because it, it couldn't have gone any better for you in the yeah, ring. So yeah. if he was in the corner, what I you saved got, him you, a journey. <laughs> indeed. Um, yeah. Have you been talking to him this week, though? Yeah, I've been in touch constantly all day. Not like every day, we've been back and forth, texting on phone calls, and you know, he's actually on FaceTime in the dressing room. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> He's awake and he's probably going back to bed now, but I'll give him a call as soon as I get in there. So this middleweight mix at the moment, obviously, is, it's just gets interesting by you know by the week really. Um, you know, Martin Murray fighting out a, a great display. A lot of people thought he beat Martin. Is um, where are you putting yourself in this mix now? Um, they're all doing well, and it's good to see you know um, Martin Murray fought, fought very well and be proud. It looks like Darren Barker's going to fight Daniel Gee. Like I heard that and. Maybe Chavez and Murray and you know Golovkin's fighting. So all like the British fighters are all and you know, maybe I'm not ready to challenge for a title yet, but I'm up there. And I, if I keep progressing the way I am, I'll be, you know, by September the end of the year, I'll be ready to fight any of them. So we'll see. Where will your next fight be? I'm not sure. I, who knows? I was supposed to fight in Washington DC and ended up fighting in New York. So wherever the road takes me, that's where I go. We were at a press conference here earlier on and it's like take the tables out, put the ring in the middle. It's it's, yeah. it's a fantastic venue actually. Yeah. And tonight the, tomorrow there'll be you know somebody in here playing jazz or <laughs> rock and roll. That's not you, is it, Andy? Yeah, no. That's that's later on tonight. <laughs> You've had a lot of fans here as well, a lot of Irish fans that yeah, are coming up seeing support, this picture, yeah. so must be yeah. great to have them here and Yeah, and a lot of them are good personal friends of mine, so uh, yeah great support here in New York and the Irish are great fans that come out and support so yeah it's good this is good base for me we could build a good good thing here you know are you going out tonight Andy? I might do yeah it's uh, getting married in a few weeks so it might be my last night of freedom <laughs> I'm sure your wife to be will be glad that you, uh, you, know, you've done yeah. the job I'll be good yeah she's That's probably good. at home I got a ring and I should go mad one and I'm, oh, I'm well, talking I'm to you I should be talking to her <laughs> <laughs> alright Cougan Passage with Andy yeah. Lee here in New York fly from London thank you very much